it has been a while since I announced some updates and I'm still learning how to get better at this. But here is what everything that's going in my mind regarding this channel. But first of all, thank you for being a part of my journey. It is really inspiring and you guys really keep me motivated. The main reason I want to do this video is to get your feedback because I want to try something new, some sort of a new direction. And I also want to tell you why I'm doing this. So here is what I have. First of all, the biggest thing that I want to announce, you can now schedule a one to one session with me. I'm starting off with few services, but I surely want to expand on it more. To schedule a session, you can scan this QR code or you can also directly go to this link and you will have several scheduling options. So do check this out and let me know what other kind of sessions do you want? What can be even more helpful? Just tell me all of those thoughts and I will try to incorporate that. The next thing I want to do is address the elephant in the room and that is AI. I know that a lot of us have been using AI more and more to help us with all of these coding problems and the solutions. And I kind of get it. Even I use it extensively. And the main idea behind it is you can actually make cross questions to the AI and that can actually simplify things for you even more. The best part is why watch an entire video where you can get a specific answer. So that kind of got me thinking, what should I do now? Like, should I just ignore AI that's coming in and continue with the same kind of videos that I have been doing? Or what I can do is I can embrace the change that is coming with AI. I want to try and adapt some of the content that I have been creating. And also I can guide you how you can use AI to make your workflow even better. How you can ask AI better questions to get a better response. This will surely help you to get the maximum value out of all of the chat models that you have been using. And what does this mean for my channel now? Will I stop creating all of these coding videos? As you might already know, I tend to pick up some of the most popular questions that are available on lead code. And I try to categorize them based upon the frequency by which they are asked in all of these tech companies. So what happens next? With AI now into picture, I want to shift my focus a little bit. Instead of solving individual problems, I would want to look at a concept overview, like looking at things from a higher level and then try to identify patterns. Because how many problems will you solve? It will never end. Rather, if you are able to identify some of the patterns that are occurring, then I believe it will help you to tackle any new question that comes up. Along with that, I can couple in all of the experiences that I have had in my professional life. And I believe this will deliver you even better insights from all of the individual problems that I have been solving. And this does not mean I will stop creating videos on individual problems. I would still create videos for some essential problems, but the underlying idea will remain the same. I want to focus on the concept and my primary target with this channel is that you understand the fundamental concepts because once your foundation is strong, you can tackle any problem that comes along your way. And I still believe that AI does not want to replace your work. I still believe that it should work as a pair programmer or your co-pilot. I'm using these terms specifically because you can use AI to make your workflow better. You can use AI to make your code better. Do not use AI to just do your work for you because then you will just stop learning. Use AI to understand what improvements you can make. And all of this also comes with good prompt engineering how you can use AI alongside to get better answers. What should you ask? If you're just asking the AI, okay, solve this problem for me. That way you will never learn anything. You must ask, okay, this is the problem that I have. These are the things that I have in mind. So tell me how I can approach it. This will give you a better learning curve. And these are the primary things I want to focus on. I want to look at concepts in general. Because when you start to understand how things are working together, that will create a better environment for your productivity as well. And then speaking of all the different components working together, I would also like to highlight my third point. And that is my system design playlist that I have been working on. This playlist has now ample questions and it will give you a very good start 
if you're trying to understand how large systems scale, you want to build a system that is for millions of users. Certainly, just one app cannot handle it. You need to have a lot of connected components and they must work together. So if you want to progress in your professional career, then you must learn these designs. I have started to create a playlist and I will keep on adding more and more questions to it. But I just want to highlight that this is the place that you can start and just keep letting me know what kind of new designs that you would like to learn. To keep things simple, I have followed the same style. I have started off with an example of a bookstore, something that you see in real life. And that way you will be able to connect every component. Like a customer is walking in, that's your customer. You have a bookstore, you have clerks, you have cash registers, you have your inventory. All of these things translate to servers, to caches, to databases and everything. So I believe this kind of keep things intuitive and easy to learn. The next part I want to address is some of the comments that I get from all of you guys. One of the recurring comments I often see is that your code does not work. Well, it works, but not directly. I don't want to give you the code that you can just copy and paste in your editor and everything will work. I try to define a method that has the complete logic. Sometimes you will want to structure a main method around it or you will want to structure some sort of an input or output to get the final result. However, if you still want the exact code that you can just copy and paste on lead code, the link is always available in the description box and it is also available on my GitHub profile. But I would highly recommend you to not take this approach. Just try to learn the fundamental concepts. Try to learn how can you solve the problem because only then you will be able to grow. Otherwise, try to think about it. There are so many LLM models out there. You can just paste your question over there and it will give you the exact output. It will give you the correct answer. But did you learn anything over there? What will happen when you try to go and appear in an interview? Would that even help you? So all of the things are a part of why I chose not to give you the exact code. I tried to give you a solution. And I believe this way you will always learn new things. So don't just jump to the code part when you're watching a video. Try to go through the explanation and that way you will also identify some of the patterns. Because there are a lot of different questions just structured and written in a different way on different platforms. And even when you're appearing for your interviews, you might find that, hey, this is the same question that was asked in a different manner. But again, if you still feel that I should write down the complete code line by line, do let me know and I will try to incorporate it somehow in my videos. And I think that's it. I would just keep it short and sweet and end it over here. Because these are all the thoughts that I had been going on in my mind since the past couple of weeks. And I would like to know your feedback. I want to know what do you think about this thought process? Can I improve my channel even further? or something that you guys are looking for. I will start to incorporate that in my channel. So let me know all of those thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to go through them with you. This really gives me room for improvement and I can work more upon my content. Once again, a huge shout out to all of the members who support my channel. You guys are the real rock stars. So stay tuned and I will be coming up with more videos, but this time focusing on the patterns rather than picking up individual problems. So stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Until then, see ya.